What's up, everybody? Welcome to Nine Vibes. So today what we're going to talk about is we're going to talk about those three states of awakening. Uh, today I had some people who were asking about what it feels like to be enlightened, uh, if God actually chooses the people that are enlightened, and so I wanted to just kind of follow up on that a little bit. All right? So let's go ahead and dive right in. There are three states of enlightenment. There are three different phases that you will go through, and we're going to go through each one of them step by step. All right? Number one, first, you wake up yourself. Now, don't confuse the fact that I didn't say you get woken up. I said the very first thing that happens is you wake up to yourself. And I feel like that is a very, very important message to focus on because a lot of people think that something else woke them up and if you think that something else woke you up, instantly, the very start of your journey, you have no control. You didn't wake yourself up. It was forced on you, and that goes against your free will. So one of the very first things I try to get people to understand is that when you first wake up, it is you that woke you up. I'm pretty sure that something happened in your life. It could be a traumatic experience. It could be a breakup. It could be a relationship that got toxic, or as some like to call, you're in a relationship with a narcissistic person, and it finally just ends. Something happens in your life that makes you decide that you want to wake up, that this life is not working for you the way that you've been doing it. That is what your awakening is about. It is about you. It has always been about you. It wasn't about saving the world. It wasn't about figuring out your, your skill or your superpower. It is always been about you. That is the first stage of waking up. The second stage to waking up is when you desire to wake up others. This is a fantastic phase, but it can last a very long time because there is one lesson in this whole entire phase, and it is that you can try as hard as you want. You can push, you can yell, you can cry, and you can guilt. But since you woke yourself up, when you finally get to that realization, or if you start with that realization, you understand that phase two isn't about forcing to wake up others. It's about being the thing that wakes up others. If you go back to your story, if you go back to the moment that you woke up, you'll realize that you woke yourself up. It wasn't something that was external. You didn't read a quote and suddenly your whole life changed. It was something that was very important to you. It was something that was very big to you. And so it is going to be the same thing for the people in your life that you love that you now are afraid for. Because once you wake up, you start to see all the illusions. You start to see all the games. And you don't want the people that you love falling down those paths. You don't want them to fall down the potholes, you know, and fall in the potholes that you're seeing. And so therefore, you go out into the world and you try to shine your light, your newfound amazing light, um, for people to guide them, and by mistake you end up blinding them. Because there is a universal truth that is being overlooked, and it is that you did not and cannot wake up anybody if they don't want to be woken up. And so the first phase is first you wake up to yourself. And the second phase is then you desire to wake up others. But the third phase, the most profound of this, is that then you realize that there are no others. And what that is saying is it is saying that on the third phase, you realize that you and I are one, that everything around you is connected, that there is a profound pattern in everything, and it connects everything. And whether you call it God or whether you call it the source or whether you call it energy does not matter at this point. You did not create the world. You are a part of it, and you are a creator. It is one of the most profound phases because it's the moment that you feel the oneness that you've been searching for this whole entire time. And each one of these phases takes time. Each one of these phases has steps that you go through. It can take a year. It can take six years. It can take 10 years. Or it can take something as simple as a month of working out a 36-day calendar and following it. It is completely up to you. But if you want to jump start a little bit faster and start ahead, realize from the very, very beginning, you woke yourself up. 
No one else did. Everything about nine fives is about getting you to understand that there is a pattern to everything. And the reason that you want to get to that place is because the moment that you see the patterns in nature, when you see them in space, and when you see them in time, you cannot deny that if everything around you has a purpose and has a reason for being here, and it all aligns with this beautiful, epic pattern, then so do you. It's the moment that you realize that you're not a mistake. No matter who raised you, no matter what situation you're in, you are not a mistake. Everything about you is calculated and planned. And the only thing that changes in that is you. You get to decide what path you want. You get to decide what you want to do. So everything around you follows this really amazing pattern. And you can find nines in all of it. You can find it in the numbers when you're dealing with the sun and the moon. The sun's diameter is 864,000 miles. That's a nine. When you get down to the digital root, that's a nine. The speed of light is 432,000 times 432,000. That's a nine. The diameter of the moon is 2,160. That's a nine. Everything around you is aligned with nines. And so what Nine Vibes is about, it's about helping you get back on that pattern. It's about helping you get back aligned with nature, with time, and with space. All right? So one of the easiest ways to do that is to follow a 36-day calendar. Because 36 times 12 is 432. And if you take the full procession of the equinox, those of you that know anything about the procession of the equinox, it is 25,920 years. And when you divide that by 60 seconds, because finding any frequency is about finding the amount of times that something repeats itself in 60 seconds. So when you apply 25,920 divided by 60, you get 432 hertz. We were supposed to be living at 432 hertz. And so if we can apply this to the days in our year, if we can apply this to Remembering that on the three, six, and nine day, like Tesla was talking about, you would understand the keys to the universe if you understood the numbers three, six, and nine. So he's giving you the keys. So if you had a 36-day calendar, you have the same days that are threes, the same days that are sixes, and the same days that are nines every single month. We would be aligned. And more importantly, we'd start to expand on those three, six, and nines to find other patterns. Because once you find them, everything in your life changes. But you first have to find them. And that's what Nine Vibes is all about. It's about finding those patterns so that you can change your life for you. Once I started following nines, everything in my life changed. We also have a nine-day, seven-chakra journey that we do every single week. Each day is focused on a different chakra or all about you. If you want to join that, it helps you get right on to that nine days a week, 36 days a month. 432 days a year pattern. All right? Get your nine vibes aligned.